what I have here is a sample template for an APA write-up for simple logistic regression. So a logistic regression analysis to investigate fill in the blank with your research question was conducted. The predictor variable was tested a priori to verify that there was no violation of the assumption of the linearity of the load chip. The predictor variable, this read fill in your name of your variable, in the logistic regression analysis was found to contribute to the model the unstandardized beta weight equals www, standard error equals xxx, the walled equals yyy, p was less than 0 0.001, the estimated odds ratio favored it was either a positive or inverse relationship of nearly n-fold where the exponentiated beta equals zzzt and the 95% confidence interval ranges from aaa to bbb for every one unit increase in once again you fill in the blank with your variable. When I fill in the blanks for my fictitious data, it now reads a logistic regression analysis to investigate if there is a relationship between age and retirement planning was conducted. The predictor variable age was tested a priori to verify there was no violation of the assumption of the linearity of the logit. The predictor variable age in the logistic regression analysis was found to contribute to the model the unstandardized beta weight for the constant the uh, b equals negative 2.503 standard error equals 0 0.534, the walled statistic equals 21.948, and p was less than 0 0.001. The unstandardized beta weight for the predictor variable, beta equals 0 0.296, standard error equals 0 0.036, the walled statistic equals 67.892, and the p-value was less than 0 0.001. The estimated odds ratio is favored a nearly 35% where the exponentiated B beta equals 1.345 with a 95% confidence interval ranging from 1.254 to 1.443 for retirement planning for every one unit increase in age. So in summary, as stated by Hesse, Bloke, and Larson in 1998, in a simple logistic regression model, we relate a covariate x1 to the binary response variable y in the model log p divided by 1 minus p, which is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 times x1, where p is equal to the probability where y equals 1, which is um, our outcome of interest. We're interested in testing the null hypothesis where beta 1 is equal to 0 against the alternative hypothesis where beta 1 equals beta prime, where beta prime does not equal 0, that the covariate is related to the binary response variable. The slope coefficient beta 1 is a change in the log odds for an increase of one unit in the independent variable x1. So when we speak about the null hypothesis where beta 1 equals 0, that refers to the odds ratio, essentially the, the slope, so that if there is no change with the independent variable, then we would reject the alternative hypothesis and accept the null hypothesis. But our, our alternative hypothesis is that there is a change in the odds, so that's why they write it in as the beta prime not equaling zero, which relates back to beta one not equaling zero.